It's called a hustle, sweetheart. <laughs> yeah, a hustle. Do it up. No. Hey, Eleanor. You want to show me your tail? <laughs> oh, your tail. Yes. Hey people, if you haven't guessed already, this is going to be a tutorial on how to make fox ears as Zootopia characters Judy Hopps and Nick the Fox. Okay, so this is everything you're going to need. I bought a ton of these headbands only because I plan on making fox ears for the kids Zootopia birthday party as well, but you really only need one. Um, I cut out just a, like basic triangle for the fox ear put it up to Eleanor's face and then I traced it again and cut out what I needed for the black and then white and then I have craft really? fur I found this at Joanne fabric um, I have orange black and white and then I also have hot glue and and then like craft wire decorative wire I don't know I found this instead of having no sew you like super glue the the fur to this and it's supposed to help the first stay up and uh, yeah so we're gonna try that out so wish us luck so basically it's super simple slash I probably messed up a ton but you'll see throughout this video I just cut um, out a little strip and the rest of the felt will be for the tail make sure that when you make the ears that the fur is upward um, because it makes it look more animal-like because animals fur on their ears go up toward the sky And holy cow does this fabric shed a ton so make sure you're not doing this on like white carpet or anything That would be really annoying. It was really annoying and I did it on my counter in my kitchen My daughter got fur in her like drinking cup and she's like, there's fur in my water. I was like, there's fur everywhere, kiddo. It is everywhere. Anyway, so just take the white um, template that you did and trim out the white and then obviously do the same thing with the black. If I have one tip for you here, it would be to make the orange just a tad bigger than the white and the black. Okay, and here I am just putting the pieces together and seeing how I'm really gonna put this on the headband because the tutorials that I saw they weren't very um, I don't know descriptive <laughs> so I kind of had to like figure things out for myself just a little bit I ended up obviously um, not using the wire because as you can see the ear pretty much stands by itself and I thought why waste uh, wire if I don't need to so I just took some hot glue and hot glued my pieces I could have sewn them but I figure hot glue does the job and can I tell you that this is the most boring video I have ever edited <laughs> ever um, I did like the fact that I recorded the entire process so now I know how much time I wasted on my life making these ear pieces. <laughs> but I will tell you that it was a lot cheaper than ordering them on an Etsy shop. And um, it was it's nice knowing that, like, hey, I made these from scratch and they're your Halloween costumes. And even if we throw them away after Halloween, uh, I can take pride in the fact that I made them all by myself. Pat on the back. <laughs> You can see me just hot gluing them straight onto the headpiece. And I kind of realized that they were missing a little bit of orange. I really wish I would have cut just like a centimeter or two extra orange on the side. 
So I figured, hmm, this crap sheds like crazy. So let me just hot glue some orange all around. And at first I was like, oh my gosh, this looks terrible. It looks like garbage. But I was like, just rolling with it because that's what you have to do when you do DIYs and crafts. It's never going to turn out as well as you hope. Or you know what? It might surprise you. Maybe yours will turn out 100 times better than mine. But I'm still happy with the way that mine turned out. And my kids really like it. So anyway, yeah, I just um, put, I just hot glued a bunch of the loose fur just on the bottom there just to cover up the headband a little bit. As I am forever cleaning up the fur off of my counter, here is the finished product of the fox ears. And on to our fox tail here. I have the, um, the leftover orange fabric on the left side, and then I just cut a piece of the white fabric on the white side. Um, a little tip. When you're when you're cutting the fur fabric, try to like fluff the fur the opposite way of what you're cutting, and then you'll have some like fluffy fur on the end. Here I am trying to like see the overlap of the orange fur onto the white fur um, because I wanted it to look like realistic, and it didn't. So I was cu I, I cut a little bit more off of the orange to try to get like that overlay of orange onto the white, but it just wasn't working out for me. And you'll see me like multiple times throughout this video try to like brush the fur down like I can magically make it grow with my hands, but it didn't happen. Um, so here I just put the orange and white fabric together just so I can like cut out kind of a tail shape. And that is that. And then I just um, took some sewing pins and pinned it in place. And then I just sewed away my little heart contented. I just did like a simple running stitch. I'm not the best sewer. I don't have a sewing machine. The only time that I do sew is around Halloween season. So I don't see the point in like um, buying a sewing machine. But eventually I think it would make my life a lot easier. So if you have one, Hats off to you. I do not. And uh, it didn't really take that long for me to hand sew them. So once I sewed the orange onto the white, I just flipped it over and now I'm just sewing it all together. So, so, so. And then here comes the most gratifying part, flipping it inside out <laughs> and um, I was pretty happy with the result um, what I did I just took some if you have like a pillow which is what I had I just have like an old pillow that I use for spare fluff that I just keep lying around in my closet and I just stuff 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 the tail to make it fluffy and nice and there is my tail, and that is me trying to rub the fur to try to get it to grow longer. I don't really know <laughs> what I was trying to make it look good. Um, so I just found some elastic that I had lying around and a safety pin and put it together. And it, it really worked out nice, and my kiddos are really happy with the results. Thank you guys so much for watching and enduring until the end. And... Uh, keep an eye out for my future Zootopia tutorials. There will probably be a ton because my kids, I guess, are obsessed with Zootopia and also want a Zootopia birthday party. So, yay me. Bye, guys.